evening. Welcome to my show. I'm Kathleen Hart, Cowtown Medium. Uh, recently, somebody asked me a question. What is it like to be a medium? So I thought I'd tell you a little story. Not exactly a typical day in my life, but a significant one. Um, a few years ago, my mother fell and broke her hip and her arm. She went into the hospital for surgery for repairing these bones and she was not recovering well. I got a call on a Sunday morning that I should come down to the hospital to see her. And as I got there, I had this empty sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach and just not quite a feeling of dread, but of, of a feeling of I didn't really want to be there. I felt a hand on each of my shoulders and I realized that on one side it was my dad who was no longer with us and my mother's father granddad I'd never met but felt his presence a lot they were each there to support me and I was so glad they were there when I got to my mother's room they were trying to resuscitate her for the third time and they told me they didn't think she was going to come back at that point i said she suffered enough it's time to let her go she needs to be at peace at that point i i spent a few minutes there in the room with her to say my goodbyes and then went on to connect with family make phone calls let everybody know what was going on and to just have a little time to compose myself while I was sitting in the waiting room, waiting for the chaplain to come in and talk with us, I, I had this interesting sensation of kind of a tingling all over. And then I felt it was like my ears were ringing a little bit. And I heard a voice in my head that I instantly recognized as my grandmother, my mother's mother. And I heard her say, Kathy, Kathleen, she's with us. My grandmother is the only one that ever called me like that. That was a name only she called me. And when she really wanted my attention, that's how she said it. That was the greatest gift she could have given me right then is to know that mom had crossed over immediately and she was home with family. It was, it was beautiful, brought tears to my eyes and joy at the same time. And the chaplain came in and wanted to know if I was all right. And I said, yes, why wouldn't I be? I'm not concerned. I know exactly where my mother is. She's in paradise. She's not suffering anymore. And he looked at me like he'd never heard anyone say that before, which I thought was kind of odd. And he said, well, I'll, I'll go find a room for the family to gather in and, and I'll be back. Uh, he didn't come back. It was kind of odd, but I think he just didn't know how to take what I said. I don't think he gets that kind of a response very often. But uh, that's a little something I wanted to share with you that it's kind of cool to get a message like that and suddenly just have that peace and that relief of knowing everything's all right. I knew where mom was. I knew she was okay. A few days later, after the funeral, I was able to connect briefly with her while I was doing a meditation. And I didn't, at first, I didn't realize it was her. She showed me colors. I saw turquoise. I saw turquoise with like veins running through it. Then I had this feeling of the color changing to a lavender. And I'd always ask her to show me signs. Cardinals were, were special to me. And then I realized I heard a cardinal singing in the distance. You know, I was looking for a red feather, but I heard birds sing. And then I realized. She's trying to tell me that she was there with me at the visitation. 
because at the visitation, I was wearing a turquoise dress. I had on a necklace of turquoise stones that had veining in them, the spider rib turquoise. And the dress that we buried her in was lavender. I know that she was right there with me. And that was a great comfort. I don't know that everybody gets those kind of messages, but uh, they were very special to me. Well, I see uh, we have a caller. Christy, do you have a question for me? Yes. Um, I'm sure you get a lot of these. There's a specific someone that I have had a connection to for seven years, and nothing's ever came about it, but it's like I can't let him go. And I just didn't know if there is going to be a future or <sighs> I just, it's complicated. Okay. So this is a, a relationship you're currently in. No, and... we're, we just, it's never been a relationship. It's just, there's always been a connection between two of us and nothing's ever came about it. Okay. Is this someone you are in touch with frequently or you see only occasionally? Occasionally. Occasionally. Okay. Okay. I'm getting that nothing has really gone wrong, but nothing's gone especially right either. Um, you know, look deep inside and see what your heart tells you. You might be able to pursue a relationship here, but I have a feeling it's not going to be what you'd like it to be. This is something you'd have to put a lot of energy into, and I'm, I'm not really feeling that it's going to be reciprocated. Yeah. I'm thinking this, this is a friendship, and it's probably not going to be a lot more. But, you know, trust your heart. Keep in touch. I don't think that's a, a bad thing. It's, you know, you can't have too many friends, but I don't, I don't really see it going anywhere. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can understand. He's going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. You have another question? Uh, no, not really. That was only my main concern. Mm -hmm. Any big changes coming up for you? Mm, possibly a job change. Um, just been working on this house that I've been renting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, missing my father, but but I know he's near. But, yeah, just trying to better my life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I feel like there is a, a transformation coming up for you. I think uh, probably a job change in the not too distant future and i think it's going to be a good change be thinking about what it is you really want in the next job and start talking about it make notes what you really want what you're looking for where you want it to be what how you want to be treated how much you think you want to be paid and just start putting that out there and giving thanks for it and like it's already happened. That's the way to manifest. Be positive about it and talk it into existence. Believe that you can have what you're looking for. It's out there. Just put some energy into it. You can make that happen. And check on your dad. Keep in touch. It's always good to let family know you care. You never know when the when they might need you and, and just not feel like they can reach out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing for yourself these days? Something to improve your life, improve your outlook, keep your spirits up. Maybe spiritual growth, looking for 
um, a new community of friends to hang out with. I feel like there's there's something you need to work on there. Reach out, connect with more people that are interested in things you're interested in, like-minded people, somebody to have fun with, and kind of get out of the house a little bit more. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I think that would uh, that would be good for your soul journey. Don't forget you deserve to be happy too. Don't spend all your time making others happy and forget about yourself. Yep. I'm good about that. Yeah, we, we can all use a lot more of that right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, make sure you stay grounded. There's a lot of change in the energy lately, solar storms and such, where we're going through an energy shift and different people feel it in different ways. To some, it feels heavy. To some, it feels a bit sickening, uh, tiring. Just make sure you're, you're getting plenty of rest. You're drinking plenty of water. Uh, eat healthy. If you're not feeling well, eat light. And I find that this helps me, but everybody's feeling something right now. And most people really have no idea what's causing it. Uh, it's not something to worry about. We'll all get through it. Just uh, take good care of yourself and uh, don't isolate. Stay in touch with your friends, check on family, check on your neighbors, and just stay connected with people. We'll all get through this together. Yep. Thank do. you for calling. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for joining me tonight. If you have questions, you feel like you need guidance or healing, visit my website, www.kathleenhart.com. You can get a little bit of my story there and, uh, and see a little bit more about what I do. I would appreciate it. And uh, one parting message tonight, let go of what no longer serves you. It's time to shed the emotional baggage and move forward. One foot in front of the other. Stay positive and stay in touch with those you love. Thank you. Mm -hmm.